Hi everyone, I hope you've had a lovely weekend. I'm using the Crystal Vision Tarot Card Deck for our weekly reading. I'll choose a card for each day of the week and these readings actually read the energy of the day so it helps us to navigate through the week. One has come out and doesn't want to be turned over this seems to be happening a lot lately so that will be at the end of the reading so i'm setting the intention now for a reading from the 14th of march through to the 20th so i'm asking for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video for a reading for monday tuesday wednesday Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the card for Monday is the Nine of Swords reversed. So the Nine of Swords is when it is the right way is worst case scenarios and really self-fulfilling prophecies but on Monday there's a, a real change of thought that we don't we're not thinking that way anymore those thoughts we go and we have a releasement of the mental of our thought forms we have a change of thought that actually set us free and open us up to see things clearer so Monday is a good day of clarity of seeing through the illusion within our lives or with whatever may be going on in the outside world we are seeing through the veils now and then Tuesday we have the ace of swords so that's it this is another sword this is thoughts again so as we cut through the illusion on Monday we have epiphanies and these beautiful thoughts start to enter our heads these beautiful gifts from God we are now being open to receiving them so Tuesday is a good day for epiphanies for seeing things to, for, for getting new ideas that come in and will create prosperity in our lives they are heaven sent so cutting through the illusion now and opening up to receiving these beautiful messages from heaven that create abundance in our lives. Wednesday we have the King of Swords and he sat there on his throne with his sword in the ground. So we've moved up from the five up to the King of Swords and as we start to see through the illusion the King of Swords is very articulate, is, has done the cultivation, doesn't let his mind go anywhere but in the direction that he wishes to manifest. So on Wednesday is a day of really focusing on keeping your mind straight. Don't get tempted to start overthinking anything, over analysing anything. The moment you stop, the moment that you ask what's happening, that's when we start to go in a spiral because we don't know what's happening. So it's pointless even having the confusion, stepping back into this king energy, king of swords energy on Wednesday and cutting through it and cultivating and keeping our thoughts firmly placed upon our reality that we're moving into. Thursday, we have the Ace of Wands. So two aces here, new beginnings, the ace of, of swords is the thoughts coming in. The ace of wands is when we start getting into action. We have that passion to follow those thoughts through and, and create from those beautiful thoughts that are coming in. So the ace of wands is one of fantastic change in our lives beautiful change in our lives as we change our thoughts everything on the outside starts to change also and then we start seeing evidence of it on thursday new opportunities coming in well whatever wherever in your life that you have felt stuck 
on Wednesday, on Thursday, you will look and see that there is, there is now a pathway, there's light there, the opportunities coming in for you to start to step into and create from this beautiful energy of passion. Friday, we have the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords is in the traditional tarot card deck. They're moving away from a building. It could be a church. It, 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 it's, it's stained glass windows. So they're moving away. And one of them is on crutches. And the other one, they both look destitute. But the feeling I'm getting on with this is we're stepping away from other people's points of view that are not in alignment with ours, that we're moving away from codependency, we're moving away from feeling that we need to fit in. So on Friday, and this is the full moon, isn't it? This is the day of the full moon. So things coming up that we're going to see, we're going to have this enlightenment that we don't have to do it that way. We don't have to fit in. We don't have to be light. We, do, we, do, we don't have to stay in a group or in, a, in a, any situation that is going completely against our, our grain, what we believe. So it's a positive card that we start to stand out in our own power. We take our power back and we start listening to our own intuition instead of listening to a group of others that are, if you stand out and, and you have a different opinion, then you're not welcome there. So we're starting to break free from all that and stand in our own light. So yeah, this is a positive card, even though normally it is not a very, you know, good card. I just feel it's, with, and with the, she's moving away and there's two people parting there, but she's got the birds all around her and she's took the strength to walk away from what she doesn't, from what is not in alignment with her anymore. She's took, she's took her power back. And she has those two swords in her, in the back of her. But the two swords are conflict. The two of swords is conflict. But it's behind her now. It, she's putting it all behind her and moving forward. She's stepping out and actually coming into her heart and being guided by her heart. So the, this is a positive energy for this full moon. So the healing that we do through the week of letting go, we actually start to stand in our own light and hear our intuition louder and clearly. And it is, we receiving the upgrades or the receiving of upgrades that we have been taking in, start to merge. And it's almost like we we have the information there, but we've not read the book, we've not done the, the course, it's just all within us. and. And it, we know what feels right for us now. So we can break free from any situation that isn't in alignment with our heart. So beautiful full moon. Saturday we have the fool. So as we move from the group or fitting in the codependency, it sets us on a journey, a new journey, a new life experience but with the wisdom of everything that we've been through so there are new beginnings for us coming in lots of new beginnings and she is there walking and she's on that cliff edge but she's got all the butterflies around her she knows if she steps off there her wings will fl will will fly she will carry her there's lots of transformation going on through this full moon of really waking up to who we truly are and speaking from our own divine 
intuition instead of allowing everybody to tell us what to do we start to walk our own path so a powerful week this week and then Sunday we have the seven of swords now the seven of swords is the thief so where people may have taken things from us or we've given our power away because people don't take our power we actually give it because we've made that decision to walk away we have our, we take all our power with us so every time we've said yeah when we mean no and we start to say no we get all the power back from every time we've said yeah when we really felt no so we're starting to stand in our own now and the seven of swords is the thief but it's reversed so everything that's been taken from us starts to come back to us essences of our soul that have been trapped in past lives in memory of fear and control because we are stepping into this time of taking real control over ourselves having that responsibility we are now bringing every essence of our soul that's trapped in lifetimes of fear it's coming back now when we're accepting it all with unconditional love including ourselves what a powerful week beautiful week so all the energy that we've given out through fear of not being accepted through fear of somebody not liking us the moment we stand into it in our own in full acceptance of who we are we get all that power back everything that's ever been taken from us comes back so beautiful beautiful week and the card that was over and i couldn't pull it i couldn't turn it over is death so death of the old the transition we're going through a major transition of acceptance and allowing things to fall away that's not of love and from that there's major transitions in our life and death is always this transformation there the butterflies are there again beautiful transformations so we're going through this transitional time where we're coming to the end of an old, an old lesson, uh, something that we've constantly, old challenges, we're now putting them down and if they're taking too much of our energy or stressing us, it's like, no, no, I don't need to do anything that is not in alignment with my heart, that is not in alignment with bringing peace into my life and so it's a death of all the stress it's a death of those challenges because as we let that go and we're all shifting through this time of so many realities are coming into this time and as we stay focused we come out of the conflict we bring back all the power we bring back those lifetimes where we have been in conflict with the full understanding that we're here in this moment in time and our soul is moving forward through affinity, through eternity and we're now bringing back all those essence of our souls that have been trapped in past lives we're bringing them back into this moment in time because we're now seeing that the only that only now is real tomorrow is not here it's pointless worrying the past has gone we can't change it and our minds if we go into it will over exaggerate everything so coming back into this moment in a place of love in a place of acceptance of who we truly are this week is going to cause a transition major life transition in a good way in a positive way we're taking back now all our power that we've given away and it's going to create wonderful changes in our lives 
Well, the death of a, the death of the ego is what I'm getting. The death of the ego. Wow. So have a beautiful, beautiful week. Embracing, embracing who we truly are. Be our love. Everything else is an illusion. And as we focus on peace, and we make, we we respond from a place of peace, and we make our decisions and choices from a place of peace. What feels right and true for ourselves, we create major shifts this week. Wonderful shifts. So I'm sending so much love and blessings to you all have a have a wonderful week embrace love embrace peace and allow your soul to guide you exactly where you're meant to be which is in unity and love so i'm sending so much love have a beautiful beautiful week and thank you so so much for listening god bless thank you